right, so in this lesson, we are gonna be looking at the top 10 cowbell drum beats that I think every drummer needs to know. These are beats from popular songs uh, that span all the way from classic rock to current times. And um, they've just, a lot of them have embedded themselves so much in pop culture that you really gotta know them if you're a drummer. So one of the things I love to do is I love to take what they did in the studio and try to recreate that live. So I'm gonna be showing you not only what these grooves are, what bands they're from, but also how you can recreate it live without having a percussion player there with you. Two things before we get started. If you like these types of lessons, I have a ton of them. I've got lessons on uh, the top five John Bonham, drum beats, drum feels, Neil Peart, uh, Stuart Copeland. We've got Dave Grohl. We've got, uh, who's the other one that I've done so far? It's now, I forget who it is, but there's a ton of them. You can go down and I'll actually put those in the video description and in, the, in a pinned comment as well. You can download the sheet music for this so you can see exactly what's going on. You can see how the cowbell lines up with everything. All right, let's get to the first one. It's gonna be the most obvious. It is by Blue Oyster Cult uh, from Don't fear the reaper. It's pretty simple cowbell part. It's just quarter notes, so your cowbell's gonna be doing this. One, two, three, four. Now, the drum beat is going to be eight notes here on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare drum, one and three and on the kick drum. So hi-hat, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. The only other thing we need to add is on the uh of two and the uh of four, we're gonna add a ghost note. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a. Now, you might be like, Steven, that's kind of impossible to do that and keep the left-hand cowbell going on quarter notes. It is, so we have to do some replacement. So the two different ways you can do this is you can eliminate the ghost note, and it can look like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Or you can take and you can actually play eighth notes here on the hi-hat, two and four in the ghost note here, and then you'll have the whole groove. So that would sound like this. One and two and three and four and So that first way is a real Charlie Watts way of playing. And I've actually, the, the Rolling Stones, he's the drummer for the Rolling Stones. I've actually got a uh, groove from him as well in this lesson. Uh, but uh, whenever he plays, he, he uh, really doesn't ever play the hi-hat with the snare drum. So it'd be like. So he closes the hi-hat with the foot. which for this is kind of perfect. So those are the two different ways we can do it. I'm gonna play it slow and I'm gonna play it fast to show you up to tempo what it sounds like. This is right at about 141 BPM. Number two is actually Travis Barker. He's the one that I was forgetting. I've got a ton of, I've got uh, some lessons on his uh, drum beats uh, as well. It's linked below, so it's kind of in this series. So this is gonna be from the song Feeling This. And it's gonna be about 175 BPM. Um, and uh, this is the, the drum breakdown. Now with the right hand, this is half time, so it's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and it's really too fast to do that Charlie Watts trick where we're hitting the hi-hat on the two and the four. And so the groove with the right hand is gonna be one and two and 
we have on the second measure, it's a two bar loop, we have and one, so four and one. On the one of the two bar loop, we open the hi-hat. So the left hand, all right, remember we're in halftime, so it's going to be on the and of two and the downbeat of four. So one and two and three and four. The next measure is the downbeat of two and the upbeat of three. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four one and two and three and four one two and four one and two and three four one two and four we add the kick drum in there And that's gonna be the full drum part. Now, obviously, it's at 175 BPM. Remember, we're in halftime, so one and two and three and four, and snare drum comes on three, so a little bit different there. I'm gonna play this slowly, and then I'll play it uh, at full tempo right at 175 BPM. Number three, it is the classic rock, classic by the Rolling Stones, Mr. Charlie Watts on the drums. It's gonna be uh, Honky Talk Women. And so we're gonna be playing the, that, that's it's a really famous cowbell part, um, and there it is. It is someone else playing the cowbell, but you can play this live. I find playing three different variations of it makes for kind of to build the groove. So variation one of it that they play in the song is going to go one and two and three four. One and two and three four. One and two and three four. Second variation. That's actually how the song starts. Right? Now, second variation is one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Third variation is one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. All right, so when we put all of those together and we kind of intersperse them, you can make it sound like it's somebody ad-libbing on there. Now, we can, this is the perfect drum part because again, Charlie Watts doesn't play the snare with the hi-hat. So you can stomp the snare on two and four. Eighth notes on the hi-hat, the kick drum is on one, the and of three, and the and of four. So let's go ahead and play that part. The right hand's gonna be doing this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and All right, now the song's gonna, the song actually speeds up from the beginning to the end. So the song's gonna, around 113 BPM, uh, and then it, it does get a little bit faster than that. So I'm gonna play it slowly with a click, and then I'll play it a little bit faster for you. Number four is by the band War, and it is going to be Lowrider.
this is going to be right at about 140 BPM. It's a pretty simplistic groove, but when you put them together, they can be a little, a uh, little bit complex. So the cowbell is going to go one, two, and three, four, and. Eighth notes on the hi-hat. Again, we're going to Charlie Watts it on the two and the four, and we're going to play the kick drum on one and then the upbeat of every other beat. So one and two and three and four and one. So let's play just the right hand first. One and two and three and four and one and two. All right, so this song is moving. It's at 140 BPM, so let me put it to a click. I'll play it slow, and then I'll speed it up to the actual album tempo of about 140 BPM. Sliding in at number five is by the group Bachman Turner Overdrive, and it's B -B Baby, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. I know, come on, come on, B -B 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 -B. They do it in this song. You gotta do it when you say it. You gotta have fun. It's, one, it's around 115 BPM. And again, it's quarter notes here. You'll find that a lot in rock. It's, it's just quarter note driving cowbell part. Now, uh, you have to kind of do some magic again. We're gonna, we're gonna do the Charlie Watts version. You'll see, hear me refer to that a lot of stomping on two and four. And the, the drum beat's pretty simple. It's gonna go one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. I'm gonna play two and four with my hi-hat, and then I'm gonna play one and three with my right hand on the hi-hat. So that's gonna sound like this. Three, four, one, two, four, one, All right, this is, to me, this is a fun one to play. So I'll play it slowly with a click and then I'll speed it up to the actual album tempo of about 115 BPM. Number six, we got none other than the infamous Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is Rain Dance, Maggie. Uh, it's around 108 BPM. Uh, it's gonna be really kind of a simple four on the floor rock groove in the right hand. And then the left hand is gonna be doing some magic over here. It's kind of a, a dotted um, eighth note type of a feel, offset dotted eighth note. And I'll explain that in just a second. So the right hand is gonna be doing this. It's gonna be four on the floor, two and four here, eighth notes here. Again, stepping on the downbeat of two and four. So. Now, if I remember correctly, it's not really, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a lighter sounding uh, cowbell, uh, smaller sounding cowbell. So for that, I'm, I'm gonna play up here on the neck of the cowbell. And, this, and the rhythm over and over is gonna be one and two E and a three E and a four and one and two E and a three E and a four and one and two E and a three E a four and one and two E and a Now, we can put those together really, really slow. So we have eighth notes here.
Now I'll put that with a click, we'll play it slow and then I'll speed it up to right around 108 BPM so you can hear what it sounds like at album tempo. Number seven, Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. Come on, you can't hear that song without hearing it, right? Um, and uh, and I can't even say the name without being like, Welcome to the Jungle! I can't, I can't sing that high, it's horribly high. <laughs> no guy should be able to sing that high. Um, we have quarter notes here with the foot on the hi-hat. We have two and four on the snare drum. It's very similar to the uh, to the low rider groove uh, in that, and the cowbell's a little bit different, but the, the basic groove. So we have upbeats on three and four, and then the downbeat of one. So the basic groove is one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one. And that is a really rock driving quarter note, you know, right on the mouth of the cowbell, just a really, a really driving cowbell part for that song. And that is right around 124 BPM. So I'll put it all together, play with a click slow, and then I'll speed it up and play it fast for you. All right, so we can't get out of here without talking about some disco. They were they were notorious for using bells and go-go bells, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna look at the Bee Gees, jive talking around 107 BPM. Um, it's gonna be right around the drum break part. And uh, so the basic group for this is eighth notes here, four on the floor in the kick drum two and four here on the snare drum. Then we have a ghost note on the E of three. So it'd be like one and two E and a E and four and. And then we lift the hi-hat on the and of four. One and two E and a E and four and one, two E and a E and The only other thing is on the upbeat of two, we have two sixteenth notes. So it's gonna go one and two E and a E and a four. They obviously had a percussionist or someone overdubbed this, so the basic groove is this. All right, the cowbell part is gonna go one E and a two and three E and a four and. All right, so we can actually, how are we gonna do that, right? We can actually make all of that happen um, except the ghost note. The ghost note's gonna be the, the guy that has to go uh, because this groove doesn't really drive correctly if we eliminate uh, uh, hitting the eighth notes on the hi-hat. You could do that, you could play all the eighth notes with that. Um, uh, but this is how I would play it if I was playing it. So I would play the right hand here. So that's how I would play that groove if I was in a band setting. So I'll play that slow with a click and then I'll speed it up and play it faster for you. Again, the songs are right about 107 BPM. This list would not be complete without some Led Zeppelin. We got Moby Dick.
it's going to be right at about 95 BPM. John Bonham, obviously. If you're into him, I've got several lessons on him. You can click uh, below. There'll be in a pinned comment as well as in a video description. The sheet music for all of this is there too, uh, so that you can go take a deep dive and, and binge and, you know, eat a bunch of M&Ms and watch drum lessons, which is what I would do. Um, so we're gonna, we're, he obviously improv, uh, improvises some within this, so I'm gonna kind of normalize the groove for us. In the cowbell, in the right hand is gonna be playing the cowbell. Uh, he's gonna be playing this pattern, one-y and a two-y and a three and a four and, with an accent kind of on the upbeats. Now you'll see that he he improvises with that pattern some within this groove. So I'm, again, I'm trying to normalize this. If I was playing this song, what would be like the general drum beat I'd go to and then I'd kind of vary away from that. The kick drum's gonna be on the one, the uh of one. So one and uh, the uh of two, and and uh on three. So one and a uh, two e and a uh, three and a uh, four and one and a uh, two e and a uh, three and a uh, four and. The snare drum, two ghost notes on, on one, so one E and, one E and. Then on the downbeat of two, we have an accent with a ghost note right after it. I'd call that a punch jab. And whenever I'm teaching ghosting, I call them jabs and, and punches. The jabs would be the ghost notes. And so it's gonna be a punch, which is an accent and note, followed by a jab. So one E and a two E and a. Then we have an accented note on the E of three. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. And then on four, we have four E and a. So the groove without the cowbell. And then we can add the cowbell uh, into that. So I'm gonna play that slow for you and then I'll speed it up to the album tempo of around 95 BPM, uh, give or take a few. Again, this is a generalized uh, uh, look at this beat because he does some improvisation within that. This is one of my favorite tracks. And if you love Bonham, go do a deep dive on some of the lessons I've got here on the channel. Uh, again, I'll link all that below. not least, we have Mississippi Queen by the band Mountain. It's going to be around 72 BPM. And it's going to be really the breakdown part is the portion that I like the best. Two bar loop, and it's going to go one and two E and three and four and one E and two and three E and four and one and two E and three and four and one E and two and three E and four and two and four on the snare for the most part. It's a two bar loop. And then the kick drum is gonna be moving. It's there's a lot of kick drum patterns. So it's gonna go one E and a uh. beat two is all four beats, two E and a. Uh. Three, again, we're gonna use the pattern from beat one, three E and a, uh. beat four, pattern from beat one. 4E and a, so the first measure is 1E and a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. We continue with that kick drum pattern as in beats three and four for beats one, two, and three of the next measure. And then the beat four, we have this pattern, 4E and. Then we can add in the cowbell, there's no hi-hat. So I'll play that slow with a click and then I'll speed it up to album tempo of about 72 BPM.
and there it is, the top 10 cowbell drum beats that I think every drummer should know uh, just as kind of, of a rule of thumb. Uh, you can download the sheet music. Again, if you dig this type of a lesson, I've got tons of lessons on a lot of the drumming greats and a lot of your favorites. They're linked below this as well as in the description and a pinned comment. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite uh, cowbell uh, drum beat is. I'd love to check it out. Maybe I haven't heard it yet as well. Subscribe to the channel. I've got tons of content uh, coming out every week. Uh, and if you ever need drum lessons, jump over to the website. The Drum Better Daily Program has helped thousands of drummers, and I think it may be able to help you too. I would love to have you in there. It's a really great group of drummers. But whatever you do, I'll see you here in the next video. Go binge watch some of those other videos. I'm going to go uh, check out some more John Bonham tracks just because now I'm in the mood.